Hi everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson and welcome to Around the Peninsula. Today I'm at a special event sponsored by the Palos Verdes Peninsula Rotary Club. This is a celebration to recognize the club's new partnership with Chadwick School and the community of Songdo, South Korea. Today we're celebrating a unique occasion probably in the world of Rotary. We learned about uh, 15 or 16 months ago that Chadwick School uh, had a sister campus in Songdo, Korea. And uh, when we looked into it, it turned out that this may be the only high school with a sister campus on another continent. And it occurred to us that it would be fun to start what's called an interact club, kind of a junior rotary club or a club for high school students, uh, both here and in Songdo, Korea. But that was going to take some doing because the fact is that you have to have a rotary club sponsor an interact club in Songdo, Korea. So we could sponsor one here, but then we'd need a rotary partner in Songdo. Well, it got a little more complicated when it turned out there was no rotary club in Songdo. So I went to the district governor, whom you've just interviewed, uh, Lou Bertrand, and um, Lou said that I should talk to DJ Sun, the district governor nominee who is very connected in Korea. And uh, we talked about it. I discussed it with the Chadwick uh, leadership, particularly including the headmaster, Ted Hill. And we all thought that was a great opportunity. And so with a lot of effort, we have now gotten the charter for the Chadwick Interact Club uh, here, that happened in January, and we're looking forward to getting a charter for the Chadwick Interact Club in Songdo, uh, which will probably take place next school term. So we are also going to have a sister club in Songdo, which will be our partner. So we'll have a four-way partnership, and this partnership will uh, engage in international and cultural exchanges. Uh, we'll have international service projects together. The two clubs, that is the two campus clubs, have teleconferencing ability, so they'll actually be able to have meetings together. It's very exciting. That is very exciting. So the students we see here today are Chadwick students. We don't have students here from Songdo. We have only Chadwick students here today. The president of the club, the co-president, uh, just returned from Songdo yesterday. You just got back from being in South Korea, and it, it was part of this whole um, a rotary of situation, right? Yes. Um, I met with their Interact Club at Chadwick International, and we talked about collaboration for next year and where we're moving forward and what our ultimate goals are. What are you most excited about about this whole thing starting up? Um, I'm really happy that I got to go to South Korea and so that was pretty exciting and I'm just um, excited for all of the changes that we're going to have next year and um, expanding as a club in both Chadwick and Chadwick Internationals. Well we have two campuses now. We had, we've had Chadwick School in Palos Verdes for 77 years and then three years ago we started a second campus, Chadwick International in Songdo, South Korea, which is now K through 9, uh, 660 students and is going up a grade a year. And we were very fortunate to be approached by Rotary at the beginning of the year about starting an Interact Club on both campuses as another way to tie the two schools together, the two cities together and uh, that's also been a wonderful success. So talk about the um, just the fact that you have this relationship for the students here and the students there, just the amazing benefits that must pr bring to them, the opportunity. Right. Well, the, the great thing about it is because we uh, run both campuses, we're able to bring the curriculum together, we're able to have the teachers communicate with each other, the students are able to go back and forth, so they've been on outdoor education trips together, they've done community service together, they've been in class together, and then with the telepresence, which is the Cisco uh, video conferencing system, um, they're able to actually meet together, so our first graders can read books with the first graders in, in South Korea, our history departments can meet together, our administration can talk together. Um, it's been a, it's been a wonderful, and it's only beginning. It's been a wonderful relationship, but it's only three years old. And now the new, and this relationship is expanding, obviously, by what's happening with the Interact program. Community service has always been a really big part of Chadwick School, and so that's a a feature of our school in South Korea. And so Interact is just a wonderful sort of boost to the programs that we would have done otherwise. And of course, having the Rotary, which has as its motto, service over self, it's a natural fit uh, for us. 
Anything you want to add that you want the community to you know better understand this whole partnership and what's going on? There's a lot of excitement here today at this celebration. There's um, the um, there's a lot of members of the Korean community here, and it's very very exciting to see an event like this. Well, I think we all recognize that the the world is growing closer and closer together, and we're preparing kids for 30 years from now. I mean, it may look in the short term as though we're preparing them for selective college admissions, but really we know that we're preparing them for the world of 30 years from now. And if we can start to form those relationships. I am really excited, and I'm, I'm excited to be a part of Rotary in general just because it's such a huge organization and everybody is so connected. Um, and I think it's cool to be a part of, like, organization with such a good reputation and have done so much. How about for you, Allison? Why did you get involved? And talk a little bit about the relationship now that's going to happen between your group and um, in, in South Korea with Songdu. I thought it was a great um, opportunity to get involved because we're going to be doing all these amazing things, helping out other organizations and helping out all these charities, and I think that's a very important thing to do. And then with Songdo, we plan on working together with them um, to do some charity events and join some organizations and do some good work. The Interact Club is a very important part of uh, Rotary. They were established in 1962. There are 250,000 Interactors in 120 countries in the world. Uh, so we started it at a high school and it's basically just for high school students ages basically eight, 13 to 17. And they do community service. And so they are uh, part of the world of Rotary. They come to our conventions. Uh, they work on our projects. They have their own projects, including international projects, which this club is going to have. It's always great to be joined by our Mayor Pro Tem of RPV, Jerry Dehovic. Here we're at this wonderful celebration uh, through ro local Rotary. Talk about what your message will be today. Well, uh, Liz, my message is going to be twofold. Number one, recognizing Chadwick. Uh, has been in existence on the peninsula since 1935 and all the good community works and community service that they do. And what I'm going to bring up is I think a lot of people don't know, as I didn't, that Chadwick is really uh, an international organization. They have three schools uh, in Korea. Uh, this event tonight is talking about the establishment of a student interact group between a campus in Songdo, Korea, and Chadwick here on our own beautiful Palinsworthy's Peninsula. So we're here to recognize that. We're also here to recognize Mr. D.K. Lee, who was president of the former former president of the International Rotary and is now taking over the uh, billion dollar plus uh, Rotary Foundation. So it's an honor to have him here tonight and uh, my pleasure to be here and, and uh, on behalf of the city of Rancho Palos Verdes, wishing them the best in their new endeavors. I came here to celebrate co-chairing Interactive Club with uh, Seoul Chatty Campus. Then uh, we are going to celebrate those uh, newly starting Interact Club in Rotary International. Why are the Interact Clubs so important that Rotary does this? How does this help? And especially the international that we, you know, we bridge um, the students from here in California with your students in, in South Korea. You know, uh, nowadays especially Rotary things use New generation is very important. I'm a chairman elect of the Rotary Foundation of the Rotary International from July 1st this year. What do you hope to do as chairman? First of all, I will try to eradicate the polio. Do you know what is polio is? Okay. They were our priority number one project in Rotary Foundation. Today we have D.K. Lee, who is the incoming Rotary International Foundation president. The Rotary terms are one year and they start July 1 through June 30th, and he takes over this coming July 1. And the foundation really funds projects for Rotary throughout the world. It's an amazing organization. Uh, you can go to charitynavigators.com and take a look at the Rotary Foundation. You'll find it has their highest rating. Many other foundations have a similar rating, but you'd be shocked at some of the ratings that some of the well-known foundations have that they're not as good. So talk, the distinguish the difference is the Rotary Foundation and then is the clubs. Yes, the two are entirely separate things. One's a 501c3, the other is the operating entity of Rotary. The clubs create the projects. Everything basically is bottoms up. You've heard about our we're almost there, we're this close, the polio eradication. 
That started with a club idea in the Philippines back in the late 70s and eventually got to Rotary International uh, in the early 80s and they made the decision that even though it was eradicated in the Western Hemisphere, it wasn't in the rest of the world and Rotary would do that and we're that close. There's only about, I think, 33 cases of polio this year in the entire world. Where we started in the mid-80s, there were 500,000 cases every year. So we've come a long way. Talk more about the, the mission of Rotary, the overall mission of any club. I mean, it's sort of the same. Doing good in the world. Uh, we believe in peace, understanding everybody, peace through service helping everybody, uh, we want to make the world a better place. And we believe if you know people from all around the world, you'll get to understand that everybody has feelings, beliefs, uh, everybody is the same. And we may not look the same, but we all are the same. And once we get to know each other, you don't want to hurt your friends. Thank you. My name is Carolyn Lear and I, it has been my honor to serve for the past six years as the Rancho Palos Verdes city manager reporting to a five-member council. Um, before we go on and I introduce a very special person on my council, I would just like to take a moment to ask for a round of applause for some individuals who made this fabulous event happen. Uh, number one, our current president of the Peninsula Rotary Club, Greg O'Brien. And also, Mr. Hangup Moon and his wife, Michelle, for offering us this fabulous venue, which is breathtakingly beautiful. Thank you very much. Certificate of recognition. The mayor and the city council of the city of Rancho Palos Verdes take great pleasure in honoring D.K. Lee, past president of Rotary International, chair-elect of the Rotary Foundation. Your legacy of selfless service and professionalism is exemplified by your experiences as president of Rotary International, president of Bubon Company and Bubon Techron Limited, goodwill ambassador for the Republic of Korea, and your upcoming challenge as the new chair of the Rotary Foundation. The City Council of the City of Rancho Palos Verdes officially recognizes your ceaseless devotion to the Rotary's mission of service above self. With this presentation of this certificate of recognition, this day, May 26, 2013. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Please. The Palos Verdes Peninsula Rotary Club has been here on, on the hill uh, since 1962. So we were actually born, or our chapter, our club was born the same year as Interact was, just coincidentally. And we've been doing great things on the hill ever since. So. Uh, people who have seen the Concord Delegates at the uh, Trump National Golf Course. We started that project uh, back uh, about 20 years ago, and uh, I think 30 of us were out there this year, as always, uh, doing that project. We also have a number of community service projects. We work. We like to work with the Boys and Girls Club of uh, Los Angeles Harbor, with Harbor Interfaith. We do projects here on the Hill on our own. We've worked with the Land Conservancy and the school districts. And we've also uh, done work with the district. Uh, just a few weeks ago, we were up in South Park in South Central Los Angeles working on bleachers, restoring bleachers for a baseball stadium for kids. What is the motto of Rotary? Service above self, absolutely, yeah. It, Rotary has always been about service. Uh, the Rotary Foundation got started in 1917. Rotary started in, two, in uh, 1905. And almost since the first day, Rotary has been about service. So there are a lot of great organizations, um, but we like to give back to the community, and we do it both uh, locally and internationally. Now, you are the district governor. What does that mean for you? I know you are a, um, district governor of, you were saying it's District 5280, but you also have your home. Rotary is right here with PV Sunset. I'm in charge of overseeing 65 clubs in our district and it's about 26, 2700 different Rotarians in guiding them, helping them be the absolute best that they can be. Uh, President Greg came to me about 18 months ago with an idea for this project in Korea and he wanted to know if it was doable, if it was a good idea. 
And we talked for a good half hour and I told him, yes, I think it's a marvelous project that you should pursue it. And he said, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know where to begin. I did. And I gave him a person's name and here we are today. We have come so far in that short period of time that things are happening. Persistence, things aren't always easy. They take some uh, knocking on doors and going back and getting things done. But in a very short period of time, we've come a tremendous way with his idea. And it's bridging two continents here, two different countries, uh, schools, individuals. It's fabulous. It's just what we want to do, create peace by knowing each other. And, um if you live on the peninsula, you have many options for Rotary. There's the PV Sunset. There's also the Palace Ferries Peninsula yes. Rotary Club. For people watching that might be interested, what would you tell them? What do they consider? How do they become a member? The, uh, you're invited to go to the Rotary Club. It depends on where you live, where you work, uh, and what time is convenient for you. We have clubs that meet different days, different times. The Peninsula Club meets at Friday at noon. My club, the Sunset Club, meets Tuesday in the evening. The San Pedro Club meets Thursday mornings at 7 a.m. down at the Doubletree in San Pedro. Redondo Beach, just up the street, meets Wednesdays at noon. So there's options for everybody depending on where you work and, and where you live. What do you enjoy about the Rotary Club? Well, uh, I, I see uh, whenever a person grow up and they do education and educate it and get a job and make money. They have to do something for the return. And I thought the Rotary Club will be the, uh, one of the uh, good ones to do so. So uh, I joined it and I'm enjoying it. And this special celebration to show the bridges between the Rotary here and really your hometown of South Korea in Songdao. How is this a very special thing to have this happen? Well, uh, especially uh, that is a song though, and uh, I'm from uh, uh, Korea, and it's our homeland, and uh, uh, I'm the only uh, Korean in the, our Rotary Club, so uh, I thought I have some obligation to be in it, and uh, uh, the, I think it's going to be great and uh, uh, good for the little, I mean, young uh, kids to uh, join and. Uh, do their uh, uh, what think uh, good for the uh, people and uh, uh, that will be uh, uh, good for the whole uh, uh, I think a lot of be influenced to uh, future uh, uh, to other uh, people too. And I have been handing out visionary awards as I visit clubs throughout the district and I certainly think that Greg O'Brien president of the Peninsula Club is a true visionary. He had the idea, the concept, and the persistence to follow through. So, Greg, would you please come forward and have a visionary award for you? Hi, thank you from the bottom of my heart for this very kind uh, recognition. And really, this, this visionary award. Lou belongs to every member of our club because all have pitched in and all have seen the vision of Songdo and uh, this is this is for my members. Thank you. When we decided to do the Songdo project, obviously one of the key people we needed to convince was the headmaster of Chadwick School. I did not know uh, headmaster Ted Hill at that time. And I was a little bit apprehensive. I guess I expected somebody who would be uh, very scholarly, which he is, a Harvard graduate. I expected somebody who might be a little bit stern, uh, heading up a school of uh, K through 12, and uh, somebody whose plate was probably already full, and indeed it was. Uh, but nevertheless, he welcomed me to his office and several of our members. And I found him to be utterly charming, uh, totally not what I expected. He uh, smiled from ear to ear and listened attentively. And when we were done, he said the magic words, which were, let's go. Ted Hill, would you come up here, please, and say a few words? Our goal throughout has been to learn as much from the children and the parents in South Korea as we may teach from here, 
And so working together has been um, a really a, a, an education for all of the adults. So the Rotary stepping forward, when Greg said the magic words, he said that the Rotary uh, motto has to do with service over self. And as soon as Greg said that, then it was obvious this was a, a, a clear a win-win for everybody concerned because that's, that's really, you, you would say, that's what we're trying to teach Chadwick students uh, is what their lives should be all about. Um, thank you so much again for hosting us today. I returned from Korea yesterday with Anage, one of our students in the Interact Club. We had a remarkable experience there, not only culturally, but for us to be able to visit our new school, to see its grandeur and its glory, to see the burgeoning city of Songdo um, was truly a treat and an honor. And I think Mr. Hill alluded to it when he said that we have a long history of service at our Chadwick Palace Verdes campus. We're just beginning that tradition of service in Songdo, but the beauty of my being able to visit was our ability to interact, I've been working on that, with our interactors, and to have them find a common ground in activities that we'll pursue in the future. And what did you enjoy most on your visit to South Korea? What did you think about the culture and the people? Um, the food was really great, and architecturally, it was really amazing. It's so modern, and it's, it's just a, an amazing city. But you're Korean. Do you have any uh, high and buy and those kinds of things you learned? Um, <laughs> all I know is anaseo, which is high and also buy. And again, big congratulations to the Palace Verdes Peninsula Rotary Club and the students at Chadwick School for their wonderful partnership. That will do it for this edition of Around the Peninsula. I'm Luz Brown Swanson. See you next time.